everybody, it's Rose and welcome to my randomosity. This is going to be my January 2013 empties video and if you've never seen an empties video before let me explain what it is. It's basically where I just hoard my trash and like keep track of all like the beauty related products that I use up within a month and then I basically show them to you and there you go. I think these are really good videos to make because you know do you watch any beauty gurus that um they have so much stuff and do you ever wonder wow do you ever actually use up anything you know especially the ones that like shop a lot or they, they get a lot of things to review and, and stuff like that um So this video is just supposed to really show you the things that I might haul, the things that I buy, the things that are given to me. I do actually use this stuff up. And also, I've had it happen where I will begin using something, use it for a few weeks, absolutely love it, and then my opinion changes on it by the time I use the product completely up. So, you know, you're going to get like the most honest product reviews out of these empties videos. I crammed everything into one of my old My Glam uh, padded envelopes. Aren't these cute? And as you can see, there's a lot of crap in here. So I will just, just start pulling out. And this first thing, uh, if you've been a subscriber of mine, you've seen this before. Uh, this is the Olay Professional Pro X Deep Wrinkle Treatment. This is the way the box looks. I cut my tube open, so that's how it looks. But the size of it is about that big. This is like a collagen-inducing uh, wrinkle treatment serum that you're supposed to layer underneath your moisturizer day and night, and then after four weeks you're supposed to see some results. Now... Of course, I used this for a couple months all over my face, and, you know, I don't really have, thankfully at my age, not a lot of concerns when it comes to lines. I do have some indentations that are beginning on my forehead because of all the eyebrow movements that I make. And then I do have, my main concern right now are the bags that I have from not sleeping. And the lines are beginning to form underneath my bottom lash line. I've been out of this for a couple of weeks now. I do feel like I've seen a difference since I've stopped using this. Because within a week of me using this, and this is safe enough to use on the under eye area. I felt like my under eye bags were not as big and saggy as they usually are. Like, I know I had some nights where... Uh, definitely during finals, I remember, where I would only, I had a night where I only got like two hours of sleep and then had to work the next day, and normally I wake up and my bags are so bad that, like, my eyes are, they're swollen, you know, and when I used this, it was almost like I got a full night's worth of rest every single night. This is higher priced for being, like, a drugstore item. But I definitely do think it's worth every penny, at least if you are someone that may not have concerns with lines and wrinkles. Oh snap, San Francisco just scored again. Got the Super Bowl playing in the background. This game has changed. If you have concerns with under eye bags and you've used eye cream after eye cream, eye serums and stuff and you feel like nothing's worked, definitely give this a try. I recommend it a girlfriend of mine. Uh, to try this for her under eye bags. This, uh, because of the, the hydration and the, um, how it's collagen inducing, I do feel like this definitely did work. Next thing I just featured in my January favorites, which I just uploaded, um, these are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Talets. I got this because I won a very gracious giveaway contest with someone that I'm subscribed to on YouTube and these are her favorite makeup wipes and um, 
By the way, if you've seen that video, something that I failed to tell you guys about that whole giveaway with Trish was that she didn't show us the prizes that we won until the video where she announced me as the first place winner. So I had no clue what I was winning until I watched that video. But anyway, um, I tend to not really like cleansing towelettes because I've just had the luck. I've only really used two types. Um, like Olay ones and then the Yes to Cucumber ones, which I thought were horrible. Uh, just because I do wear quite a bit of makeup and a lot of it's like waterproof. Um, I would use wipes and then, of course, go to wash my face and then would uh, wipe my face with a towel. There would be still so much makeup left on my face. But these actually did, as far as I've seen, the best job that I've seen a wipe do when it comes to removing mascara and my waterproof eye makeup and all the concealer and stuff that I use on my face. So I've actually I've already invested. I have an order from Amazon that's coming in the mail um, this uh, this week. It's going to have a huge pack of these in there and I'm just so excited to have them because, you know, if I'm traveling, if I just have one of those nights, one of those late nights, you know what I mean, where I get home and I just don't feel like washing my face, I can just take one of these off my nightstand, remove all that I can, and then go to sleep, you know, and, and rest easy in knowing that, you know, the most of my makeup is off my face. This next thing you've seen before, I go through this like water, um, and I have a fortunate new friend. I don't know where it came from. Um, I think it's hormones. Uh, because I've been using the Acne Solutions, uh, Clinique line since September and it definitely if you watch some of my videos from last summer I was going through some major breakouts some huge zits on my face and uh, this whole system definitely changed my face and of course I still do have some concerns that have not completely gone away um, and I'm actually on my third bottle of this now but this is the second bottle that I finished if you have extremely oily skin, if you're an older adult, and you all of a sudden suffer from adult acne, definitely give this a try, because within like a week, I saw a difference. I used this, the Clarion Moisturizer, and one of the spot treatments. Um, I didn't use the cleanser, and within a week, my face started to clear up, and it, it, after a couple weeks, it basically got to what it is now, with the random sporadic zit that might pop up every once in a while. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be oil controlling. I really don't think on me it really changed my oil production because I am really oily. This next thing, I don't know if this is the first makeup item that I've featured in an empties video, but this is by Lancome. It's the Tropics Mineral, Mineral Smoothing Press Bronzer SPF 15 Sunscreen and Natural Sun Bath. And as you can see, I used it completely up. I have had this thing for th almost three years. And, you know, whenever I would wear a foundation that would be a little too light, I would use this, which would happen actually quite often. And then, um, within the last month, I began to actually contour my face. So, uh, that's why I think I ran out of this, uh, scratching my back. But yeah, this is a fantastic bronzer. Um, if you're tan or olive complected like me and you're looking for something to contour with or just a bronzer to use, period. Natural Sun Bath by Lancome Tropics Mineral is a great bronzer to use. This you have seen before. Only because I don't use this on my face. I use this the last few months as an unscented body lotion. Uh, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion uh, it's more like, of a, it's more of a hydrator, and it didn't completely keep my skin completely moisturized, where it didn't, like, get ashy again later on in the day, because it would. And I got, like, tons of these from Clinique Little Gift Promotions, and I didn't want them to go to waste. So, use it as body lotion. Uh, this next thing is by Clinique also, and I cut my tubes. This is the Acne Solutions Clearing Moisturizer, and it goes with this. 
And this is the third step that you would do after this. And this contains benzoyl peroxide. Now, since I've ran out of this, I'm slowly trying to wean myself off of this because the acne solutions line is something that you're not really supposed to use for, like, the rest of your life. You're supposed to use it to treat your acne. And once your skin clears up, you can stop using it. I don't know. It might be why I have this, this friend on my face because I ran out of this, like, a week and a half ago, I think. And... Sure enough, a few breakouts did come come up, so I may have to reinvest in this. But, uh, this has benzoyl peroxide in it, and, uh, I only use this on the affected areas and not all over my face. And it's supposed to help with oil production. I can't really say if it really helped with that. But keep in mind, I am extremely oily. This next thing is by Estee Lauder. It's their Idealist even skin tone illuminator. This is Estee Lauder's equivalent of the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. And I do have some hyperpigmentation on my temples and my cheeks and my chin. One thing that I thought was cute, which I think the actual bottle has like a pump, but you know, this sample had this cute little handle thing, you know, to dip in and put on your, your face and stuff. The claim that they have is after two weeks, 62% of women, not, 60, not a 62% improvement in your skin, 62% of women see a change in their face. To be honest, I didn't see a change with my hyperpigmentation at all. But where I work, we do sell a lot of these and we do have a lot of, you know, happy customers that have used this and seen results. So I'm not saying to not try it, because then again, I only used it for for two and a half weeks. Um, if you are, I would suggest you to actually invest in the actual product and purchase it. And don't rely on the sample that they, they give out with promotions. And use it for at least a month to really get the full benefit that it can offer. Now this next thing is just a sample jar that you can get at any department store makeup counter. Um, and I have a few of these in here, so this is not the first one. But all these sample jars were full of a foundation that I talked about, I think in my first empties video, which was my November empties, the Clarins Skin Illusion Foundation. Um, it's an illuminating foundation. I think it actually has, like, micro gold particles in it, so it gives a radiant finish. It's actually the foundation that... Um, I'm still wearing now, and I have extremely oily skin, and it does not make me shiny, it's not glittery, it doesn't make me more oily. Um, it gives about moderate coverage, and it's a great foundation, I like it. It gives me a nice, I think, healthy, like, dewy glow without turning me, like, into a character from Twilight. This next thing you've seen before, it's the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. They sell these sizes at the counter for $8.50, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but you get these, like, in their gift bags whenever they have their gift promotions. This is a pretty good makeup remover. I don't like it as much as this, and not as much as my Holy Grail makeup remover, which is the Long Come By Facile. But, if you want something that doesn't have, like, an oily residue, like the Long Come Bifacil, then definitely give this a try. Next thing is not interesting. It's a toothpaste. It's the Colgate Sensitive Maximum Strength Whitening Toothpaste. My mother has passed on the fabulous gene of me having sensitive teeth, and they were really acting up uh, last fall, so she actually gave me her toothpaste to use up. And I definitely do think it helped. I don't think it whitened my teeth at all. But um, when I eat ice cream and stuff, I do feel like my teeth are not as painfully sensitive as they were before. This next thing you've seen before, this is the really old packaging. But this is the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. For all of us mixed or ethnic ladies out there, this is basically like a hair grease. It's a shine pomade, and I use this as a daily moisturizer. But you can also use this um, if you have psoriasis on your scalp. You can actually use this, and I do have a friend who's white. He uses this on her scalp because she has a really bad psoriasis on it. But um, you can also use this as a styling agent. If you have curly hair and you flat iron it, no matter what ethnicity you are, um, 
it protects your hair from burning and it helps seal in the shine. Um, it's a great hair moisturizer or really multi-purpose moisturizer. Now this next thing, I actually had two packets of this, but I think I threw the other one away because I talked about this in my January favorites. But this is the Alterna Bamboo, Bamboo Smooth Candy Oil Pure Treatment Oil, and I had two sample packets. This is a fantastic oil, but it's so flippin' expensive. Like a 1.7 ounce bottle is like $24. Yes. But when I used this stuff on my hair, oh, it did such a fantastic job. I used this on my hair when it was natural and wavy and poofy, and I actually, it took all the frizz out and calmed my hair down. Calmed it down so well that I actually wore it down. Now this hair is a few days old roller set hair. I actually had rollers in my hair um, earlier in the week. So, you know, this is not my hair naturally. But this oil is fantastic. You can use this as treatment oil or as like an, a frizz eliminator moisture oil. Um, my mother is going to try to get me a bottle of this. She's a cosmetologist and she's going to try to get it wholesale for me. Um, this is definitely something that I want as a permanent staple in my life. This is something, it comes in a box, but I don't know where that is. But this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector SPF 25. This is in the, this was in the completely wrong color for me, Fair, which I think is like the lightest color possible, but I made it work. This is basically an under eye concealer. You know, and you twist it, and it comes out of the brush. The nice thing about this is that it has an SPF of 25. Eye makeup concealers normally don't contain SPF, and that's an area that's often ignored when it comes to sun protection. This, I liked it when I first started using it. But, towards the end of me using it, I did not really like this as much anymore. The reason was because my skin's really oily. And the formula didn't last on me, even after me properly setting, with it, setting it with a powder and everything. At the end of the day, my, the oil on my skin would eat it up, basically. So it would look very splotchy, very blotchy. If I just scratched my eye, it would just completely wipe off. Like, I didn't have any concealer on my face. And my under eye concealer needs to last, and the stuff I've used since this definitely lasts so much better than this did, so. I think if you have more combination or drier skin, this could probably work for you. I wouldn't recommend it if you have oily skin like me. Alright, I'm almost done, you guys. Almost done! This, already mentioned, this was another sample of that Skin Illusion. This was my Holy Grail foundation. This is a deluxe sample of the Clarins Truly Matte Foundation, but they discontinued it, and then they reformulated it, and they've come out with this new Ever Matte crap, and it's not the same. This stuff was a full coverage, long wearing oil controlling. I remember I would wear this and I wouldn't have to powder my face for at least four to six hours. But Clarins had to change it. Like they do with almost everything that I like that they make. So I think this is the last remnant that I have and I'm letting go. I'm not going to order anything from eBay because I know it's not made anymore. So I am letting this go and moving on. This next thing comes in a box. It's over there. Don't know where it is. But this was the third step of my acne routine, and this is the Clinique Acne Solution Spot Healing Gel. This has salicylic acid, and it's like an on-the-spot spot healing gel. This works fantastic. Whenever I had tiny pimples, I would put this on at night, wake up the next morning, and they would be gone. When I had huge cystic you know, acne bumps on my face. It may take a couple of nights, but whenever I would use it, this would make it disappear. 
I do feel like though if you have drier skin to be careful because on me a few times it did dry my skin out like it dried the bump so much that it dried out the skin around it um but if you're oily if you have a lot of acne definitely definitely give this a try and then the last thing can't be sharpened anymore so I'm just gonna get, get rid of it this was the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in Black. Uh, this is a waterproof eyeliner that you can get at Target. It retails for $15. I got a sample size, so it was about that big, I think. The actual pencil is probably about that big. <laughs> um, this is a close dupe to my Holy Grail waterproof eyeliner pencil, which is the Clarins waterproof eyeliner. Um, if you watch my November favorites, I actually demo this and I show you how after it sets, you can rub it and go to town and it doesn't move, it doesn't budge. Uh, if you're oily skinned like me and you're looking for a good black eyeliner, this is very opaque, very dark, very rich, very creamy. It glides on like they claim and it does a really good job of staying on all day. And that is it. As you can see, I used up quite a bit of crap last month. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'll have links in the down bar if you're interested in finding out more about these products and finally in actually purchasing them. The links will be down in the down bar. And uh, again, this is Ro from My Randomosity, and thank you so much for watching this crap. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, and those links are always below. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day, a happy Valentine's Day, and you will be hearing again from me soon. Bye!